I could show you 300,000 year old teeth and the tooth enamel, the white part that you see when you smile, would look pretty much the same as, as if you pulled out somebody's tooth right now. Teeth are about 98% mineral in content and so you might imagine them actually being fossils already in your mouth because that's what a fossil is, it's mineralized bone. Because of that, teeth preserve better than any other part of the body and most of what we know about evolution in general and human evolution specifically comes from the teeth. One interesting thing you can tell from teeth is the diet of an individual within the last two weeks of their death. You can take a, a cast of the tooth, you can look at it under this very high power microscope, and you can examine the pits and the striae and the orientation of those, and that'll tell you something about what the organism was eating. One question people ask is, how did people get by without going to dentists? Well, people weren't eating westernized food. They weren't eating mush and corn and candy. And so, in reality, very few fossil hominins have cavities. And Neanderthals, for example, which is my specialty, I can count on one hand the number of individuals that show cavities, and they're always very small. Different geographic areas of the world have different dental complexes. Europeans have kind of simple teeth. Northeast Asians have a number of um, mass additive traits. In Australia, there's a lot of extra cusps on the molars and on the premolars, and in Africa, they have a different set of um, extra cusps and things. And so you can actually track geographic ancestry looking at the dentition. People like to focus on faces because that's what we look at when we, of course, see people and we use that to recognize people. Who thinks about your teeth, right? But to me, there's something about their aesthetic quality. So white and shiny and beautiful. And what it can tell us about our past and where we came from is one of the most interesting things.